everyone, Screaming Geek Media here. I am Jerry the Geek. Today we are going to talk about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre on 4K. But before we do, if you like physical media, 4Ks, Blu-rays, DVDs, if you like uh, home theater, you know, movies in general, uh, please check out my other videos on my channel. Like, subscribe, and turn your bell notifications on. So in this video we are going to talk about the 4K release of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You know, the movie came out in 1974, so we're pushing almost 50 years old. You got a you know, group of kids, uh, Marilyn Burns, Alan uh, Danziger, Paul A. Partain, and uh, of course uh, Gunnar Hansen plays Leatherface, and directed by uh, Toby Hooper. And also at the beginning, uh, the opening credits are narrated by John Larroquette, which I never realized until, until watching it now. When I was looking things up. Such a classic movie, even after all this time. Some movies don't age well. I mean, there's... You know, if, you watch, if you've watched all my other reviews I've done, some of your older films, there's been a couple that, that I liked back in the day, but now 40 or 30, 40 years later, I'm asking myself what the hell I was thinking. The like, Howling comes to mind. I mean, I loved that movie back in the day, but watching it now, I'm like, okay, that's... Isn't that exciting? But this one holds up pretty well. I mean, definitely it's it's out there. When you're watching this, this is freaking crazy. But, you know, the story revolves around these kids that they're going, uh, they're uh, visiting a cemetery to check out their father's grave. And also want to check out their uh, childhood home. Yeah, and things go awry when they, you know, uh, walking around a property and come across a neighboring property with a cannibalistic family. But still enjoy, I really enjoy the movie even today. It's been aged, I, even though I have it on Blu-ray and DVD, I still can't remember the last time I actually watched it. So it was kind of nice, there was a couple of spots that surprised me because it had been so long since I watched it. And, you know, getting the right visual and then the audio kick in and kind of, like, oh, that was pretty cool, I forgot all about that. Go down in today's society, so many of us watch these movies, and it's it's hard to surprise us a lot of times. Now, this 4K release comes from a uh, Dark Sky Films. You know, I got the Steel Book here. Uh, came on on February 28th. It also has a standard release as well. You know, the movie was originally filmed on 16 millimeter. Um, it has a 4K digital intermediate, HDR10, and uh, Dolby Vision. And surprisingly, for being an old being an old film and plus 16 millimeter, you use your 16 millimeter format. Not very good way to keep film. It's, it's just really hard to improve upon. It's, but surprisingly, this one actually is pretty decent. I was I was expecting it to look like total crap. Actually, it comes across. You know, it has some good details, some nice pops of colors, um, reds, uh, yellows of the flowers when they're. Uh, uh, two of the characters when they're walking, when they're coming up to the house or walking across this field, and the yellow, I don't know if they're sunflowers or whatever they wore, but they were, they were in the foreground, they really popped off the screen there. Um, blue sky, uh, when they come across the generator that's running some stuff, it's uh, the br red on that really pops. And also the details, you can actually see the uh, brand name of the generator, I think it was Wisconsin. Uh, the opening uh, scene with the armadillo, dead armadillo on a road. Yeah, just so much really comes out here. And later on when they got close up of Leatherface, you can just see the skin texture of the mask itself. And the eyebrows and eyelashes that are on the mask. The stitching on the mask. So I was very impressed with this presentation here. Yes, it's a heavy granite time, but that's, like I said, with the... Coming from a 16 millimeter, there's only so much you can do. This is never going to look perfect, but pretty damn good. Now, as far as comparing with the Blu-ray, I didn't my, my Blu-ray I have I have a steel book that came out in 2017 and it uses a a 2014 remaster. But as far as other Blu-rays, I never had an older Blu-ray, so I'm not sure how they look. You know, the Blu-ray that I've got actually it's, the remaster and it's pretty damn good in itself. And, you know, comparing the two, there's only slight upticks in the details. Grain a little bit, you know, a um, little bit better structured. 
But the big difference was the color grading. The 4K definitely gives you a lot warmer color tones. And uh, the contrast a little bit deeper. And overall has a little bit more, more rich feel to it than the Blu-ray. But again, the Blu-ray from Dark Sky was phenomenal on its own. So check out the screenshots comparing the Blu-ray and the 4K. Uh, we'll come back and talk about the audio, uh, packaging, and the bonus features. We'll see you in a couple minutes. Now for the audio, they gave us a Dolby Atmos and a DTS HD Master Audio 7.1, a 2.0, and a mono track. And I actually toggled between all four uh, audio tracks to kind of compare them. And then, you know, kind of give you my thoughts on those. Now I don't have the Dolby Atmos. I only have a 5.1. So I, um, the Dolby Atmos and the 7.1 are down mixed to the 5.1 for my system. And overall, I, the surround tracks are plagued with, they're overdone in my opinion. Sometimes these older audio tracks, I think they try to overdo the surround mix and they sound unnatural and this is one of them. I mean, it, it's nice and clear. You got some nice separation balance across the front, clear dialogues. The surrounds give you the extra ambience, but again, it's almost too bright and just unnatural feeling to me. And uh, DTS 7.1 was almost the same. There wasn't a whole lot of difference between that and the Dolby. Where the 2.0 and the mono, it just felt more natural. But I would have, I mean, overall, I think uh, the 2.0, in my opinion, was my favorite. I preferred it over the surrounds. Again, even a mono track, is, I mean, it, it actually sounded pretty good. But I just, the stereo track I liked a little bit, gives you a little bit more without being overdone like the surrounds. But like I said, that's my opinion. You know, let me know what you guys think of, if, you've, if you have this and what you think of the Dolby and DTS surrounds. I just, like, again, I just think it's sometimes overdone and... I think if they would have brought the levels of the surrounds, if they would have brought those levels down a little bit, maybe it wouldn't have been so bad. But just, it was just in my like I said, in my opinion, it was just overdone. Now for the packaging, you know, I've got the steel book here. You know, it has a J card. You know, plain back, nothing fancy. Gives you a poster. And uh, our internal artwork, uh, different artwork on uh, two different discs, the 4K and the Blu-ray. So for bonus features, we have quite a bit here. On a 4K uh, presentation, we have four audio commentaries. One with uh, writer, producer, director Toby Hooper, actor Gunnar Hansen, cinematographer Daniel Pearl. Uh, next one we have actors Marilyn Burns, Alan Danziger, Paul A. Partain, and production designer Robert Burns. Uh, the, th the third commentary is just uh, with Toby Hooper. And the final uh, commentary, we have cinematographer Daniel Pearl, and editor J. Larry Carroll, and sound recordist uh, Ted Niccolo. Probably pronounced that wrong, screw it up, but anyways. So that's quite a bit, you got four commentaries on those. Now on the Blu-ray, we have a, a brand new feature-length documentary, The Legacy of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The Cine Family presents Friedkin Hooper, 
a conversation about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre between William Friedkin and Toby Hooper. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Shocking Truth. Flesh Wounds, Seven Stories of the Saw. A tour of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house with Gunnar Hansen. I haven't watched these. I need to check these out. Some of these sound pretty good. Off the Hook with Terry McMahon. The Business of Chainsaw. Interview with production manager Ron Bozeman. Or Bosman, I mean. Deleted Scenes and Outtakes. No, Outtakes could be right. I love Outtakes. Grandpa's Tales. An interview with actor John Dugan. Cutting Chainsaw. Interview with editor J. Larry Carroll. Deleted Scenes and Outtakes. Okay, I'm not sure why they've got that. Listed twice. Whatever. Got a blooper reel. Outtakes from Shocking Truth. Horrors Hollowed Grounds. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, Dr. W.E. Barnes presents Making Grandpa. Still Gallery. Trailers. TV spots. And radio spots. So quite a bit to go through here. Some I've poured over from previous releases. And some new stuff as well. Plus the commentaries. So to wrap it up, a very nice solid release here from Dark Sky Films. You know, if you don't have this yet on 4K, I definitely would recommend picking this up. But there's plenty of choices. I mean, we've got the Steelbook here. Um, it's selling for uh, $28.99. Uh, you can get the standard uh, same design, just a regular keep case for uh, $22.99. You've also got a, a version coming uh, from a turbine that came out. It's, you, know, you can get it from Diabolic for about $42. And also we got a, uh, releases coming from Second Sight. There's various uh, versions of come, uh, that are coming from Second Sight. I think that comes out next month in April. So, you know, definitely check out a Diabolic website. I got list, uh, and I got the link below and with the retailers. But yeah, like I said, they've got various versions available anywhere from, you know, $30, $35 on up to, you know, 50 some dollars depending on what you want. I'm not sure how different they are going to be. And supposedly they're the same scans as Dark Sky. There's reports that Second Sight was doing some additional color grading too and some changes. So I'm not sure. This will be interesting. Just, I'm not going to, you know, mul you know double dip, multi-dip on getting this on 4K. It'll be interesting to see some reviews from others, you know, comparing the Dark Sky version with a second sight or even Turbine. It'd be interesting to see what other people have to say about that. So if you're interested in uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre on 4K, you've got a lot of choices here. But I definitely would recommend upgrading too. And, you know, so that pretty much does it for my take on uh, the 4K of uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre from uh, Dark Sky Films. Uh, please check out my other videos, like, subscribe, turn your bell notifications on, and we'll see you soon. Geek out!